Good morning, Winthrop High School. Today is Friday, January 31st, and we are following a day four schedule. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. While the Digital Media 2 class is busy, Digital Media 3 is going to step in just for this week's newscast, but it does feel good to be back. The Digital Media 3 class has a new form of media called Studio 313, a longer video about interesting topics in Winthrop or beyond. Today, you saw our new intro for the program. So be looking out for that on our YouTube channel earlier next week. Before we get to our stories of the day, a huge congratulations to the girls track who was named NEC South Champs for the first time since 1988. Keep up the amazing work, ladies, and good luck in states. We walk by each other in the hallways every day, and we barely ever wonder, hey, I bet that guy can juggle. Hidden talents are littered here throughout Winthrop High School, and we have Ronald to tell us more. So around this time of year, the senior class is annual talent show to give the spotlight to certain students who have hidden talents. It's going to be on February 13th this year. We caught up with some of the senior class officers to ask them what the talent show is all about. I'm really excited for this year's talent show because I'm actually the MC. So I'll get to uh, announce people and get the crowd hyped. So it's going to be an awesome time. So everyone make sure you're there. So Monday is going to be the last day for signups for the talent show. But if we get some big interest that's generated from this interview right now, from this little segment, we might even extend that sign up time to a little further in the week next week. So please come see me if you'd be interested in showing us your talent. The talent show is hosted by the senior class this year. It is on February 13th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Our MCs this year are Chris Rodriguez and Patrick Haskell. Um, it's supposed to be a great time, so if you want to sign up, see a senior officer or go to Mr. Palin's room. I'd love to see singing. I'd love to see a comedy act. That would be something we don't get too often. I'd love to see uh, maybe if anybody out, out there is a ventriloquist, and you haven't told anybody about it, and you want to come out and show us that, that you have a ventriloquist dummy, and that, we'd love to see that. Um, really, any sort of talent that maybe has been hidden, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking forward to see it all. Now we caught up with Connor to see what hidden talents are in Winter High School. I am here with Carlos. Carlos, what is your talent? Um, I'm really good at drawing. Um, you know, it's, it's why to draw uh, every day. Okay, I'm here with Emily and Brandy. What's your secret talent? Um, we can do a backflip. <laughs> I'm here with Brandon. What's your secret talent? I can jump. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm here with Steven. Steven, what's your hidden talent? My hidden, my hidden talent is being is being so, so good at with math and telling jokes to my friends. Okay, why don't you tell us a good joke? What do balloons hate to take in school? What? Pop quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here with Patrick Haskell. What's your secret talent? So something that a lot of people don't know about me is that I enjoy singing opera. Okay, I'm here with Joey, and I think his secret talent is dancing. Yeah. Let you want let let's see you dance. Thank you guys for sharing those crazy talents, and I hope to see you all February 13th in the auditorium, watching everyone at the talent show. And back to the guys in the studio. Thanks, Bobby. In lieu of sports this week, we asked some of this, we asked some people around the school for their Super Bowl predictions. Here's Connor with more. With the Super Bowl right around the corner and the Pats not being in it this year, we thought it would be interesting to see how people thought it was going to go this year. All right, my Super Bowl prediction between the Niners and the Chiefs, uh, well, I know who I want to win. I want the Niners to win because of Jimmy Garoppolo, as he was a former Patriot. Um, so I'm taking the Niners plus five points. I think they'll win by, give them five. I think Patrick Mahomes is gonna absolutely dominate um, 
Chiefs are going to obliterate the 49ers with a score of 31 to 17 um, and an absolute domination, and he'll be holding up the Lombardi by the end of the night. So that's my prediction. I got the 49ers, 31-17, big win on the back of Jimmy Garoppolo, strong defense. I think they'll shut down Mahomes. 49ers. All I know is that the 49ers are playing, so I think they're going to win. What's the question? What are the Super Bowl predictions? Super Bowl predictions? Uh, the Chiefs are going to win. Chiefs 45, 49ers 17. Blowout win. 38-21 Chiefs. Gatorade's going to be orange. The national anthem is going to be over a minute. That's it. My prediction for uh, this year's Super Bowl winner is the New York football Giants. Oh, wait. Um, they only had a couple of wins this year. Um, I'm going to have to go with San Francisco. I think San Francisco is the most well-rounded team. They've got a great defense, smart quarterback, and I think they'll pull off the victory. So uh, my prediction for the Super Bowl uh, on the upcoming Super Bowl Sunday would be that um, – the Patriots and Tom Brady will march down the field Chicago at the end of the fourth quarter. And in oh, the Patriots aren't in the Super Bowl this year? No. Oh. Who's in it? 49ers. 49ers and the Chiefs. Oh, I guess in, in that case, I really don't care much. Um, but if, if I had to make a prediction, I would say Chiefs by two touchdowns. So before this interview, I had no idea who was playing in the Super Bowl. I just found out it's the Chiefs and 49ers, and I think um, the Chiefs will win. You know, Patrick Mahomes, I think he's pretty good. So I don't know what the score prediction will be. I don't really have one, but that's who I think will win. We are disappointed that the Patriots aren't in it this year, but our prediction from Wake Up Winthrop is that the 49ers are going to win by Three, six. Now back two, to you in the studio. One. The STEM Club is entering a competition this weekend. The Science Olympiad is an annual competition where students from all over come to Harvard to compete in things they've been building in months prior to the event. Here's Matt Hurley to tell us more. Here at Winthrop High School, we have many students that excel in both science and technology. Unfortunately, these students don't have a chance to compete and show off their skills until the Science Olympiad. So the Science Olympiad is basically the Olympics of science. Picture how you compete in all sorts of different events in the Olympics, it's exactly like that for science. These guys behind me are working on the gravity vehicle event, where they have to design a vehicle that's able to travel down a ramp and hit a certain destination mark at the end without any help from any motor or anything like that. We had other events like what we call the ping pong parachute. A bottle rocket is designed that has a ping pong attached to it. The bottle rocket takes off and the ping pong detaches and the group that can keep the ping pong in the air the longest wins. It was an awesome time at MIT and we're really looking forward to this current Saturday when we're going to be going to Harvard and competing again. My favorite part about the Science Olympiad is just the design process and even if we totally mess it up we can just laugh about it and then uh, tweak it so that it becomes better for the next competitions. Yeah, it's really nice to ha be able to uh, use science in a practical way and get to see it work in real life. Here at Winthrop High School, we have many students that excel in both science and technology. Unfortunately, these students don't have a chance to compete and show off their skills until the Science Olympiad. Yes. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to tune in next week to stay updated with all the happenings here at Winthrop High School. Thanks for watching, and remember to be kind to one another. Roll, Roll Vikes!
yeah, stop and come alive, yo. Uh, give me what you got. I guess by now you can take a hunch and find that I am the baby of.